Scaling Theory, and the Sustainable Economy. Fizz.org article, 18th January, discusses scaling theory and a possible framework for sustainability. While very interesting and some fun facts or theories, the article does not offer any frameworks for anything. Maybe an argument for bigger, less wealthy urban centers, a recipe for a dystopian future, perhaps. The study finds that bigger cities do produce more liquid waste, as this is a one-to-one -one linear ratio. However, economies of scale, like public transit, etc., mean that emissions are reduced, as well as our other solid waste forms. Unless, and this is a gargantuan slippery slope, wealth is entered into the equation. Wealth means more waste in all categories, and in a much worse than linear ratio. Check out the CO2 emissions chart by population and wealth. The much smaller but much wealthier cities produce a disproportionate amount of GHG emissions. Quote, cities tend to deviate from the universal scaling law as they get wealthier. Cities with higher per capita GDP generate more waste across the board, which, unders which underscores the relationship between waste generation and economic growth. You can conclude many things from this information, including that more modern infrastructure and a higher quality of life requires more energy and thus emissions. However, it is also because wealth allows for detachment from consequences, or at least that's what we've created in our society. And that's one of the biggest hurdles we have to overcome. Hey.